their IT investigation tonight. Con counterfeit prescription drugs made from fentanyl are on the rise in Florida. IT investigator Adam Walser first exposing this issue and now tonight he's showing us how the University of Florida and the researchers there are working on a brand new device to identify bad drugs and potentially save lives. Feeding the powder. Pill presses like this one are fueling a new black market for counterfeit opiates. This is impacting all of the United States. Drug dealers earn millions by making pills that look exactly like legitimate pills from a pharmacy, but really contain deadly fentanyl, a drug 50 times more potent than heroin and 20 times cheaper. If a pill's worth $80 and you sell 10,000 pills, you've just made quite a bit of money and you may have only paid a couple thousand dollars for your initial investment. Those pills have already started killing Floridians, including nine people who died in Pinellas County after taking counterfeit Xanax. This particular device can be put into the pharmacy. University of Florida researcher Swarup Bunya has designed a device that can perform a quick chemical analysis on any pill without damaging it. The intention is to place them in kiosks in pharmacies and retail stores where consumers can bring and test their medicine. You can actually put it underneath the kiosk and it can tell you the composition of that. The technology would identify counterfeit pills and dangerous components in medicines purchased from overseas. Currently about 10 percent of drugs imported from developing countries are fake or substandard. It can even tell you if it has any chemical contaminant or anything bad which you should not consume. UF researchers hope to be able to make the machines for about $300 each when they're put into large-scale production. They hope that will happen within a few years. I'm my team investigator Adam Walser taking action for you.